Hello friends and family. This week I'm going to show you what a typical day with our family looks like. you're going to see what our typical routine is. Now, sometimes things change up a little bit. Sometimes we have extra activities. Sometimes we go and get groceries, but this is our basic schedule that we follow every day, Monday through Thursday. On Fridays, the boys actually go and spend time with their grandpa. They go to swim lessons. So Fridays are a little bit different, but this is what basically every Monday through Thursday looks like at our house. It is 4.45 in the morning. This one is wide awake. This is actually a new development. I have a new job and it is very part-time. It is only, well, 20 hours a month and then I split it up however I would like. So lately I have been waking up at 5 a.m. so that I can get about an hour's worth of work done before the family wakes up and it is exhausting. Like if you asked me a year or two ago if I would be waking up before the rest of the family, I would have said, heck no. But I actually find that because I'm really excited about this new job that I wake up and I'm really ready and excited to work on it. At 5 a.m. I get out of bed and the baby's usually up with me and I pull out my laptop and I generally kind of feed the baby while doing the work for my new job. Once I hear the boys starting to stir in their room, either I will make breakfast or Ben will make breakfast. If it's been a rough night and I do need to sleep in a little bit, then I will have Ben make breakfast and he's great at it. Uh, but now that I have been working in the mornings, I'm already up, so I'm able to do that myself. A lot of times it kind of feels like we're just sitting around playing and I think that that's appropriate for their age. You know, we do try to get at least one educational activity in. So this week we did our outdoor STEM activity and I don't have all of the clips in here. I went ahead and put that in the other video. So if you haven't already, make sure that you check out our easy activity for the week and let me know if you are able to do that with your family and if you enjoy it. Uh, but otherwise, we are just spending time either inside or outside just letting the boys play.
we did snack and story and that went well and we were about to come outside but then the mowing company showed up so we had to stay inside and the boys were fighting a lot so we decided to come out anyway even though they're not done uh with the yard but we needed to get out because the boys were basically having a throwdown in the basement so we needed a change of scenery and now we're snuggling outside waiting for the mowers to be done It's only 9.30 in the morning and it feels like it should be 3 in the afternoon. I'm so tired. So I'm going to take a nap today, hopefully during quiet time. Where did you draw blue? Uh, After a few hours of play, Ben on Tuesdays and Thursdays takes the boys to the YMCA for open gymnastics. Fortunately, it's over in like three weeks. They closed down for summer because they have summer camps, but it has been really nice over the past few months. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Ben takes Shane and Seth to the Y just to get them running around, get some exercise. Ben gets some time with the boys and the baby and I stay home and get a little cleaning done and also make lunch for the family. And it has been so nice and I'm bummed that that is not going to happen anymore, but I might be able to convince Ben to maybe take them to the park or something instead. I hope. So my smoothie bowl, uh, you saw me make it, but for the most part, it is vanilla almond milk. I do get the sweetened kind. And then I put kale and then frozen spinach and a whole pack of frozen berries and blended that up. And then on top, I put strawberries and almonds. And then I took the oats and honey granola bars and I just mashed them up. Um, it's way more affordable than trying to just buy the granola bar or the granola separate if you just get the granola bars and mash it up. Uh, it's way cheaper. So yeah, that's lunch. I love these little containers for everything. It just makes everything look so much cleaner in the cabinet. I love them. Turned out well. The granola is nice and sugary. I have about 10 more minutes until the boys get back. So I'm snuggling the baby. I ate my lunch and then we will do stories and rest time. So Seth does not always nap, but he's supposed to. So he'll be in his room for at least an hour, sometimes two, sometimes two and a half, which is amazing. Uh, but then Shane and I will listen to audiobooks. So we have been working through the Magic Treehouse stories, which we love. And we just got numbers think through 24 so like 16 through 24 so he's excited to try the next one so i will snuggle with him and sullivan and listen to audiobooks while seth takes a nap in his room you have a good nap yeah you slept for two hours so did i it was great Popcorn. Delicious. Yummy. Does get popcorn? No. No, but you can't. What do we need? A umbrella. Why? Because it's raining. <gasps> it's raining. Are you getting wet? No. Why not? Because I'm safe, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's where we had a little bit of a fail. I was 
plan on getting all of my filming done that day for our outdoor activity and I wanted to really show how shadows change throughout the entire day but it got really cloudy and it started raining so we were only able to do morning shadows but it's fine I mean you just go with the flow and we actually ended up being able to do um the afternoon shadows in a bit oh I hear the baby hold on I'm gonna take care of the baby then I'll be back we ended up doing the afternoon shadows the next day which ended up working really well and it was a really organic learning experience because Shane ran out and he's like, I want to chase my shadow. And he noticed that it was going a completely opposite direction. And so it was a really natural way for him to understand the way that the sun was moving across the sky and how that influences the shadow. So it actually ended up being perfect. Um, it wasn't forced. He was really kind of in awe naturally, which was fun. are all playing really nicely so I'm gonna go and get started on dinner. Shane and Seth are building the blocks. He is on the playmat. And I'm gonna go get some cooking done. And that was our day. Ben gets home. He comes up from the basement at 4.30 and we have a family dinner. Um, dinner did not turn out the way that I wanted it to this night. I accidentally, because I do grocery pickup, I accidentally ordered a stir fry mix that had like noodles in it. Usually I just try to get the plain veggies because then I do a ground turkey and mix the veggies in. And I didn't really like the mix that they gave me. Um, so it wasn't great, but we ate it anyway. It was fine. After dinner, we do some family playtime, and we usually take turns who cleans up the kitchen after, and then we'll watch a show at night. Usually we take turns deciding who gets to pick which family show, and then bedtime. Maybe I, if people are interested, I can show you what our evening and bedtime routine is, but that is a day in our life. As for our garden, we didn't do anything this week. We're gonna wait until Memorial Day to do most of our planting. So we just watered and there's not really an update, but I will keep you posted on that as well. So let's talk about next week. I am officially six weeks postpartum, actually seven. And so that means that I'm clear to start exercising again, which I'm not very happy about. I really like just sitting on the couch with the baby for the past two months, uh, but I am going to challenge myself Next week, I found uh, a workout series, so I'm going to try and do that almost every day next week. Wish me luck. I'm going to try and document how that goes because, honestly, I don't think it's going to work very well. As you saw in the video today, the boys like me to sit right there with them all day, so I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try and include them. That's my challenge for this week, so come back next Friday, and I will let you know how that challenge goes. As always, I hope that you enjoyed our weekly update. And if you want to keep following us along on our home video project, please hit subscribe. Remember, you're not going to be able to find the videos just by searching my name. And we will see you next week.